If you're thinking about resolutions for the new year, why not make some nice improvements to your home? Maybe add some value. 20-year home improvement and lifestyle expert Catherine Emery is here to show us four projects we can do in 2021. Good morning, Catherine. Great to see you again. Good morning. Happy almost new year, Eric. Yes, we're getting Always so good close. to be here. You know, maybe we should start in the garage because especially if you have kids, that place, that area gets so dirty and unorganized so quickly, right? It really does, you know, and get, so get everything off the ground so you can use the garage as another functional space. So I, I suggest that people invest in a system with multiple different options so that you can personalize it just for you. So I just installed this Rubbermaid fast track rail garage storage system. So what I did is I bought, they have a seven piece set, Eric. So it comes with two of these. These are about three foot long. Okay. This is the support system. So this is almost like the base. This is where you start with it, right? And then that seven piece set, I kind of have it set up like MacGyver style in front of me here, but it comes with a ladder hook, a utility hook, a cooler hook, a power tool hook, and a scoop hook. So that'll get you started. So think about it. You can put your shovel up there, your beach chairs, your tennis rackets, and then you can add to it. So you can add shelves, bins, cabinets, racks. They have a great thing to hold like sports balls, uh, utility equipment. I put my husband's mountain bike up there because oh, that thing's always getting in the way. You know, I have a ton of gardening equipment yes. hanging out too. So I just love it because then you can use your garage as another functional space. So we created a little, uh, a little workout room out there. Yeah, so perfect. You can go into Home Depot and see everything in action here, but I highly recommend if you don't have something like this to get it done because it's so nice having things yeah. off the floors and on the walls. We, we, the kids got bikes for Christmas, uh, so they're all over the garage floor right now. Now, I need to get those up in the air so I can actually open my car door, right? So that's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> you really do. What about, uh, what about like cleaning supplies? So think about, let, let's think about, we're all thinking about healthy home, right? So 2020 resolution is let's just keep our home free of bacteria and germs. So I suggest investing in one product that really is going to cure that bacteria. I like Rejuvenate. They make an antibacterial floor cleaner, but I'll, sh I'll tell you a secret. It says floor cleaner, but really you can use it anywhere. Okay. So you can either click it into their mop and clean the floors because you do want to start on the floors, Eric, because of course, think about it. Where do germs come in first? On your shoes, they're tracked all over your house, but then take it a step further and protect yourself. You can use it remote controls, um, all those common touch areas, faucets, light switches, doorknobs, and then that way you're ensuring your house is clean. We all have been super aware of that. But And then also think about that space underneath your sink now. You don't have 10 cleaners that you have to wait there. You just have that one. So this kills 99% of germs within five seconds. Perfect. So just one thing is the way to go. You know, usually when you're cleaning the house, you're going through paper towels and rolls. And right now, hey, those are a hot commodity. You don't want to be wasting those, right? Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully the TP crisis of 2020 yeah. doesn't happen again. Exactly. <laughs> as well as the paper towels, too. So uh, instead of using something like that, you, you have a different idea that uh, could be a little more eco-friendly. Yes. So I, a great resolution. I, in our home, I'm a, I'm a huge earth lover. We are big reduce, reuse, recycle. So I'm going to help people with the reuse category. So first, just think about all the takeout we're getting, right? We're all doing DoorDash, you know, Uber Eats, all that stuff. So I repurpose my takeout containers for certain storage containers. Like, so I keep my masks in this. Um, here's like, this was like a peppermint bark thing that I use now for my, um, all my cords. You know, you go in the drawers and you can't find like your power cords um, or like these mason jars. This is hand sanitizer, but but also a great reuse, and we were talking about this a little bit, is microfiber. So most people clean with cotton towel, cotton cloths and paper towels. And what that really does, you should not clean with these because what it really does is it just pushes the dirt around. So microfiber actually acts as a magnet. What it is is there's tiny fibers looped thousands of times, and it effectively removes dirt, dust, debris, bacteria. So this is the way you should clean. And to go with the reuse theme here, you throw them in the wash, use them again and again and again. They help absorb spills. You and I were talking a little bit before you even said, can you use it outside? Absolutely. It's great for cars. It's great for patio furniture. It's great for all the stuff that we're going to use our antibacterial cleaner for. And I love that you can use it over and over again. Yeah. And check out this mega pack. You can go into Home Depot. This, these are the quickie job site heavy duty. 
you get one pack of these, you're good to go for the year. Yeah, so soft you can even clean your TV with that. Uh, the, if people are going to be painting, they want the hot color, the new trendy color. Are those the colors right there? Yes, isn't it crazy? So Pantone, Pantone comes out with the color of the year. A little history. This started back in 2000, so they've been doing it for a while. So it's interesting. There's only one other year where they chose two colors. So the colors of the year for 2021 are ultimate gray. So that's like going to be the rock, the solid, and then and then illuminate, which is a yellow, which is strength and positivity. So it's interesting because you know the grays. It, it, painting is such an easy project. Yeah. You know you can do it in a weekend. The nice thing is is you if you don't like the color, you can just change it out. And then you can go into a lot of the home improvement stores and see this little tiny container here. This was two bucks. You can go buy the color you want, test it on your walls. If you love it, go back and buy more. So that's something people don't know about. Yeah. But you know, gray is great for like your office and your dining room because it matches everything. It's not really warm though. So you don't really want it where you want to evoke like happiness. That's where the yellow will come into play because it's like, it'll really be good in the kitchen sure. or the entry where, where you really want to welcome people. But it's it's kind of interesting, right? What do you think yeah. about the two colors? I like I like the option of yeah, the gray and then the brightening up the spaces with the yellow there, and they actually look pretty good together too. Don't they? You like yeah. my little again, my little MacGyver Science Star project. I mean, they're they're both great backdrops for like a Zoom wall. Maybe next time I see you, I'll have <laughs> one of them up here. Yeah, every other plank, <laughs> every other color, right? That'll keep you busy like you're not already busy enough. Catherine, thanks so much <laughs> exactly. for your time. Where can people learn more about some great ideas that you have for projects? Everybody should go to bethebesthome.com for all these awesome New Year's projects and more great home improvement tips. Awesome. Well, I sure hope you have a great uh, new year here in the next couple of days. Thanks for coming on, Catherine. I always as, appreciate your time. Thank you. Always a pleasure. And happy new year to you and everyone over there. All right. You as well. Get those holding racks because my yeah, husband just got those and he hung up like the surfboard and yeah. everything. And I, and I looked in the garage. I'm like, wow, this is, the, you know, I made a lot more space. There's so much room, half the wall up that's not used in a garage. Absolutely. I got to do that for the kids and bikes. just just like she did we also created like a little gym so that gave us more space perfect yeah and then, you know because of the fitness center's not open nope you know you got to still get that workout on gotta utilize yeah. your space at home Good idea. so if you're ready to say goodbye to 2020 we now have our first look at the New Year's Eve ball yeah it's always such a beautiful sight here isn't it